Good morning, Tompkin Options traders and investors. Matt Buckley, call sign Wiz, the primary and weekly options model portfolio manager here at TGO. And got some uh, interesting earnings pre-market. Family Dollar reported uh, weaker than expected uh, results. Stocks obviously down pre-market. A uh, couple bucks here, almost three bucks. Not necessarily good news for the economy, right? Uh, Family Dollar said... Uh, you know, financial conditions of their clientele aren't good. So we are really starting to see the impact of the Obama tax increases. We haven't even begun to see the uh, impact of the sequester uh, on uh, unemployment and retail numbers. So it, it's, it's the seasonality that I've talked about before for the past three years around this time of the year. Uh, a April's usually been pretty strong, but uh, the sell in May and go away has been pretty fierce. So is that going to continue for this year? Uh, I think it's it's going to. A lot of canaries in the coal mine uh, starting to drop dead here, whether it's uh, a low VIX, a rally in gold, or even bonds. There's The stock market's been going up recently, but bonds have been as well, and usually there's an inverse relationship uh, between those two. So as we see uh, the stock market rally and bonds rally, guess what? That means that people are getting a little creeped out with what's going on. Now, yeah, you know, the crazy guy over in North Korea might light one off today or, or Monday. I, you know, I think the birthday is his grandfather or, or, or whatever. So, you know, whether it's Cyprus, whether it's North Korea, none of these world events are necessarily – they might cause our market to flinch, but still the Fed with its $85 billion a month of asset purchases are holding this market up. What's going to bring this market down, as I said, weak corporate earnings. And uh, we should see um, some very interesting earnings on Friday with J.P. Morgan uh, and Wells Fargo starting to get into some of the banks next week as well, regional banks, which really should show us uh, the health of this economy. Uh, today, well, last night, uh, the market's also uh, going to be up today on uh, trade balance data with uh, China. They're actually importing a little bit more than they're exporting to us, which is a good thing. Obviously helps out uh, companies here domestically in the United States. FOMC minutes come out this afternoon. Uh, we'll yawn through about half of those because we know uh, the the rate that they're targeting, et cetera, et cetera. However, it's going to be interesting to see, as you've seen over the past couple of weeks, the past couple of months, that some of the Fed governors are starting to run out the microphones and do the old, hey, I, 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 I'm getting a little creeped out about what we're doing. I think we might think about kind of sort of ending this. So they're prepping the battlefield to let the market know that the uh, you know, someday this is going to end, like Colonel Kilgore said in Apocalypse Now. Someday all this quantitative easing is going to end, and they don't want it to be a cold shower to the market because that would be absolutely uh, brutal. Um, this afternoon, also taking a look at the federal budget balance and our deficit. Going to be very interesting uh, to see those numbers, folks. The president rolled out his budget today. Just absolutely uh, unbelievable. I mean, he, he's got a, a couple head fakes to maybe some entitlement cuts to uh, Social Security at Al, but um, nothing really. I mean, uh, on the left, some Democrats are claiming faux outrage. How dare you even take a penny from this? Well, it, it, they're trying to give him political cover for, um, you know, maybe trying to move a, a little bit, but Republicans uh, aren't even uh, going to flinch here. I mean, so we'll see what the data say this afternoon. We've been running a budget deficit over the past four quarters of about 5.8% of GDP, and the Obama budget is trying to get the uh, deficit to about 1.7% of GDP uh, by 2023. That's not even... That, that's insane. Uh, the uh, Republican proposal has us with a 0% uh, deficit in up to 10 years through entitlement cuts and no tax increases. And the budget uh, submitted by the president has the so-called Buffett rule, again, going after uh, millionaires to pay at least 30% of their income. Um, to uh, Uncle Sam, because, you know, they need more money. Uh, hopefully you saw last night, you know, I got news from my buddy who's the skipper of the Blue Angels. The Blue Angels have canceled their season. The Thunderbirds, the United States Air Force Thunderbirds, have canceled their season due to sequestration. But the president and Michelle had a private party at the White House last night with Justin Timberlake and Queen Latifah and all these other folks. So we, we have time on taxpayers' money to have these type of things at the White House, but we're going to cancel the Blue Angels uh, season and cut military spending when we got a guy who's about to light off a nuke. Makes sense to me. Um, so stand by for a little bit of a market rally today. I think we're still going to do this lurching back and forth that we've seen 
uh, in the past couple weeks as we really get into the uh, heat of earnings season. Remember, financials tend to lead us into and out of recession, so I'm going to be watching the financials a lot. Uh, Friday, folks, we're going to have a live trading session uh, about weekly options been doing been having an absolute blast trading our weekly options we have a, a chipotle iron condor and an spx uh, iron condor on for the week that are looking pretty good so uh, come check out friday the video will redirect to an opt-in page where you can just click real quick and join us for one of two live trading webinars on friday either 1 p.m or 4 30 p.m if you can't make those go ahead and register anyway so we can send you the replay about what i talk about and what weekly trades i add to my uh, model portfolio here at top gun options and manage for uh, max uh, performance there or eject for minimum loss. Okay, so happy hunting. Make sure you hedge. Got to go to trading. And I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with uh, Thursday's sit rep. We'll see you.